All right, let's go to Friday night. Uh, Middle Tennessee State, uh, UConn, college football. Uh, we've got Middle Tennessee State, 15-point road favorites, 54 the total uh, in this game by week uh, for Middle Tennessee. So a little extra rest, time to prepare uh, for this after getting beaten down by Liberty, 41-13 uh, in the game before the bye week. We'll see if they can uh, bounce back here. Uh, don't look now, but um, UConn, which looked like an un- unbackable team after the first you know couple of games <laughs> this season, uh, 45 nothing loss to Fresno. They lose as favorites to Holy Cross. They get just drilled by Purdue in the first three games. Well, since that time, they're four and one against the spread, you know, in their last five games. You know, they covered at Army, lost by two to Wyoming, lost by two at Vanderbilt. Uh, they did lose to UMass 27 uh, 13. They beat Yale. Uh, Yale's not a bad Ivy League football team, if you follow that at all. Uh, three and a half point dogs, 21 15. Victory for UConn over Yale and a little bit of a rivalry game there. Uh, it's been a little bit better for them, you know, and and statistically, you know, the, you look at the last few games, minus 0.8 yards per play versus Wyoming, which isn't terrible. They actually outgained Vandy, Vandy on a yards per play basis. Despite the loss to UMass, they outgained UMass on a yards per play basis against Yale, 0.9 yards per play better. You know, there's some improvement going on. And this a quarterback for them, Krzyzewski, Stephen Krzyzewski uh, for uh, UConn, uh, the last few games, you know, he's had five touchdown passes. The last three games, still making some mistakes too, you know, four interceptions. But the last few games, we've seen some uh, offensive uh, chemistry go for UConn. We've even seen this defense rise up a little bit and play at least a little bit better. Remember, the defense was just atrocious early on yeah. uh, in the year. But uh, stepping up, playing a little bit better on the defensive side of the football. And when you look at the uh, last three games here, UConn's got better defensive numbers than Middle Tennessee. Now, Middle Tennessee is the better offensive team slightly. Uh, and Chase Cunningham has been good at quarterback. You know, it's he's not. they haven't missed Bailey Hawkman since he left. Uh, but boy, this is at UConn. It's 15 point road favorites. It's, you know, UConn is one of those teams. They are coming off playing Yale and it is kind of an important game to them based on the uh, little rivalry there, but could they fall flat here potentially, but for middle Tennessee, you know, now you're playing a non-conference game right in the middle of conference USA season. You have a shaky defense and you're laying 15 on the road. So believe it or not, for the first time all year, uh, even in the games they've covered, the last few i haven't even considered a bet on uconn me either. This is the first week i am considering a bet on uconn i don't know if i'll get there but i'm leaning uconn at the moment what do you think connor yeah i haven't considered it either but i did on saturday i didn't bet it but i would have took them with the three and a half uh, but i did it there's no other way when you put middle tennessee they they're a little bit better more polished the better offense like you talked about but when i see their name and laying 15 points on the road there's just no way there is no way I'm taking them. This is UConn or pass. They played a lot better, you know, covering against Vandy and some of these schools. It's UConn. I think they, I think they're in this one. Give me the 15. All right, there we go. And Arthur Mead Jr., thank you for the dono. $5. We appreciate Uh, it. Arthur, appreciate it, man. Appreciate all your support, always. Always, yeah. He's been in the chat a bunch in the past. We appreciate that, Arthur. Thank you very much uh, for the uh, support and from everybody tuning in. And hit the like button if you haven't already. Uh, We appreciate it. 